Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, hello, welcome back. I hope you all had a great weekend. So we're going to take a look at your week ahead messages to see what is coming out here for you December 18th through the 24th. It's almost Christmas. All right, let's get into this and see what's going on. Okay, you're starting with open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Okay, I feel like you got that over the weekend, didn't you? Um, or on Thursday. So let's take a look. Virgo, open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Okay, so you've got the hanged man. So there's Pisces energy there. It looks like Virgo, you might be in like this position. You've been waiting for someone to come in or waiting really just for love to come into your life. Um, and you've been patient. And it looks like you've been trying to make the best of things and, and try to see things from a different angle um, as far as like getting a better perspective on what you are looking for, what you want in your life. Um, I feel like maybe you need to open your heart up a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I feel like there might be an energy here of, hmm, kind of still deciding what you're looking for in love or maybe the type of relationship you would like to have. Um, I do see that you're at a little bit of a crossroads, so you may be feeling like, hmm, maybe I should just give up on the whole love thing. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, with this person here on the two of wands holding this gift, I'm going to show you, hold on, as I'm holding this gift in their hand, it's like, you have so much to offer Virgo and you know you do, but you might be feeling like I have all this to offer and there's nobody like you're waiting. You're, you're, it, it does look like you're ready though, you know? Um, but you might be getting a, a little bit like, well, I don't see anything here that's like tired of waiting, but I, I kind of feel like you're like, how much more can I open up my heart? Look at how he stands here with this gift. Like, I'm ready for partnership. And that's with this two and like the two wands, like someone who's like minded. You're ready. You're waiting for sure to have partnership in your life. You're doing the work. You're putting in the effort, you know. Um, let me see this opening up your heart energy, though, to attract more love. Maybe you're trying to attract by giving gifts, that kind of thing. Like, in other words, it's kind of, yeah, it kind of gives me this sense of like, okay, I'm standing here. Here's the gift that I have to offer. But maybe it's more material. Um, you might have maybe an old mindset of, you know, uh, material things will attract is what you need to do to attract the right person. Um, but you might still have a closed heart, you know? So I feel like there might be a protection mechanism playing out here for you. Yeah, a little bit of that going on. Let me see here. I mean, I, I do, like, I do get this sense. And I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not saying, you know, it's it's a negative or anything. But there, there may be a Virgo here that's like, um, kind of like, well, if I, I feel like give material gifts, um, if I work really hard, I'm making all this money, I show someone, Hey, I've got this great place. I've got this wonderful car. I've got this magical job. That should be enough. I, I'm a good catch. And those are great achievements for yourself, but I don't feel like that's really, Spirit is saying that's not the best way to attract love because those things can be gone in an instant. You know what I mean? Um, opening up the heart and coming from that place of love and not from a particular um, item, I feel like they're trying to say is the way to attract love. Okay. And how is that by being loving, by being compassionate, by being, by smiling or just smiling, you know, um, I feel like the best love is found when, um, uh, we're not lo looking at, um, uh, other people's, 
you know, the attachments, what they have attached to them, you know, because it, isn't it true? Like you could, you could marry a millionaire and they could be like an absolute jerk, like money is in everything. So, um, maybe that's something that you did in the past and, um, maybe you, some of you are coming to realize that you can't buy anybody's love and, and another person might be realizing that they can't buy your love either. Okay. So let's see. Is there, I feel like that's a, a strong message for you, Virgo, like on a personal spiritual level, but also another person. And, and with the hanged man, it feels like, okay, let me look at this differently. You know, uh, let me, let me look and see, um, you know, acts of service gift giving these are all love languages um i don't know if it's yours it could be um somebody else it might be theirs and they might be coming to realize as well i can't buy virgo's love giving gifts and paying their bills or doing all these things are great but i feel like this if we're talking about another person here and specifically a pisces doesn't have to be but that this person is like, wait a minute, there is more to Virgo than what Virgo can buy for me or offer to me, you know, um, money, material things. Okay, so I do see a little bit of conflict this week, though. Let's take a look and see. Okay, got the chariot. And the ace of wands and that ace there's that's like a that's not a wand that that's more like an icicle here <laughs> um there is a travel situation happening this week and you know with the holidays everybody's traveling or visiting there might be some kind of conflict in regards to that and i feel like there might be like uh, a delay in travel um maybe there's like they have to de-ice somebody has to de-ice so there might be some bad or inclement weather in regards to a travel so i i feel like there's a little bit of um travel disruption or some conflict or just some snow on the road or some challenges this is more so what i want to say okay this week that seems to be yeah definitely some delays with the nine of wands and maybe trying to rethink something or having to find a different uh either route route um or uh take a different type of transportation maybe like waiting for the bus instead um there might be like the car is not gonna go through these the snow or this weather and let me go to the bus stop and wait for the bus or the train or you know whatever it might be that energy is playing out for either you or another person we do a cancer here okay also have the devil hmm tricky little tricky tricky okay we've got the page of cups as well hmm so what's going on here capricorn energy let me see hmm okay so when it comes to this travel scenario, scenario they're saying that um, uh, <laughs> another gift coming through, um, somebody might, so if you have to travel, uh, it looks like maybe a refund or somebody's going to give you some money or um, help pay for something or help find another way to get somewhere um, by way of like money. Uh, like here, I'll take care of it, or, um, you know, I'll pay for an extra ticket or I'll extended stay or something like that, either doing it for you or you doing it for somebody else. Um, they're just saying the devil's in the details. I don't know exactly what that means, but there are some details that maybe you overlook or something that somebody overlooks as far as travel this week. So... There may be an apology, uh, like somebody says, oh, I didn't, you know, I, I booked or um, I, I booked a ticket or I made plans to go to this particular place and I screwed up and, you know, th there's some kind of challenge to travel this week, okay? So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, if you're expecting a visitor or if you are the one who's visiting um it, they're saying to be a little bit more prepared or to to 
Be prepared for a delay of some sort. Okay. And you also have judgment. So we've got Scorpio energy there. There is the Eight of Swords and the Magician. Wow. Okay, so there is an energy here of someone. We have Gemini too. There's an energy of somebody kind of like feeling really mentally stuck but freeing themselves from this this mental um isolation or sense of feeling trapped or that kind of energy and it looks like someone is going to try to make some type of reconciliation happen really try to manifest it this week in some way there might be like uh somebody here on the borderline of like anxiety or stress coming up and they're trying not to get themselves all worked up over some kind of like it could be like inability to do something because something might not work out like some kind of stress now is it related to that travel thing it could be or um, any other kind of situation where somebody feels trapped. But I have to tell you, with the magician here, I feel like it's going to work out. Um, whoever this situation is being applied to, it's going to work out. Whether it's you or another person or someone you're connected to, things are going to manifest. It's going to happen. Okay? It's going to be like, you know, we're going to break out all the tools, everything we need to try to make this reconciliation happen. Okay? So not a bad thing okay we've got the death card we've got scorpio energy again and the six of cups and the king of cups okay so what's going on here you've got a cancer scorpio or pisces um there's going to be some kind of reunion or uh, somebody putting something in behind them uh putting something in the past and renewing something a relationship there's kindness um, having a new beginning possibly with a water sign it doesn't have to be their son that could be anywhere in their chart but the king of cups does come across as someone who is very kind patient compassionate wise doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve but is someone who is um, a mature and secure healthy in that way so there is going to be something ends and a new beginning starts with someone from the past yeah uh, i have to say it it's it, there's something about old memories and possibly even like an apology or just a kind gesture that's made towards you this week okay so let me see anything else spirit wants you to know let's take a look at anything else that spirit wants virgo to know opening up your heart this week virgo be happy smile think positive thoughts in love and life let's see anything else for virgo okay wow you've got strength good self-confidence feeling free so your energy this week despite it all <laughs> whatever's going on i know it's a hustle and bustle this week coming up but lots of adventure new beginnings a fresh new start positivity courage self-confidence strength new communication overcoming any kind of obstacles uh cutting through all the bs the fog clears no matter what is going on there's going to be victory and communication and a positive outcome i feel like for this week um so yeah it looks really good it looks really really positive for you all right let's see here we go okay you have guardian a lost loved one watches over you virgo okay Let's take a look and see who is watching over you. You do have, it's kind of like an angel on your shoulder. <laughs> you do have someone who's looking after you, watching over you. You may have felt like this is always been a thing for you. Or you may be it's kind of like, hmm, well, that was close. Why? I feel like, Virgo, you always seem to... Um, things seem to work out for you in the long run okay because you've got someone watching out for you watching over you 
Let's take a look. Okay, the hanged man, a very spiritual energy. That's Piscean energy there. Okay, you've got the three of wands, two of swords, two of pentacles. You know, Virgo, I feel like whenever you're in a time of distress or you have decisions to make and you're not sure which way to go, it looks like, especially going forward, I feel like the message here is just wait um, for the answer to come to you because you do have someone who's watching out for you. And I do see a, a bit of conflict in your mind. I feel like there's this do I or don't I. There's this energy of should I or shouldn't I. Should I stay or should I go? Should I just wait? Um, it looks like the message here is for you with the hangman to be patient. Um, let things reveal. Let the answers be revealed to you. In regards to a particular situation, whether that's regarding your love life, whether that's regarding your health or your career, there is a message here of patience and waiting for the answer to come to you. All right, let me see what else do you need to know, Virgo. You could be waiting on a Pisces <clears throat> or some type of connection with a Pisces. Okay, you've got Aquarius here as well, so the Fool. Ooh, you've got the world. The start of the new year, Virgo, feels like um, a breaking free energy. It feels like whatever has you, if you're feeling trapped or you're feeling stuck, you're not sure what to do, the beginning of the new year, there's a whole new horizon in front of you that you're going to be able to actually, I feel like before this year is up, of course, maybe the last week of Christmas of December, you will receive the answer that you need in order to take action and go in the direction that you need to go, which is going after your ninth cup, which is going after your, your wishes, hopes, and your dreams, whatever that might be, okay? So you're going to get this sense of freedom because whomever's watching over you, whoever's looking after you at this time, um, for some of you, it could be a Pisces, it could be an Aquarius. For others, it could also be a Leo, uh, a Scorpio, a Taurus. There you go, you've got the sun. So I'm feeling a real strong, bright, positive step forward in this new year. But I feel like from now, the time you're listening to this reading, going forward through the end of December, you're being asked to wait. It will be revealed. The answer that you need will be revealed. Um, you're protected. Like I said, you've got somebody looking out uh, somebody watching over you. Let me see if we can try and see maybe a little confirmation spirit on who is watching over Virgo. Okay. It may be someone. I will say someone who's passed away. Okay. Um, but a very tragic. It feels like a, someone who's passed away in a very tragic way. Um, yes, definitely. I'm picking up some rest in peace vibes here for sure. Um, that person's at peace. I will tell you there's no pain. There's no, um, there's no pain, but there was some kind of tragic, tragic way that this person who's watching over you, uh, had to deal with before moving on into the afterlife. So they may have had, um, they may, they might have been poor. They suffered from some kind of financial problem. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be tragic, physically tragic. It could have been more of a mental thing that happened to them. Um, someone who is part of your family or you might, might have been married to this person. Yes. Um, I, 
Uh, I, w I it, That's really what they're giving me here. Uh, mal, uh, masculine or feminine energy, Virgo. This person is... They're very much looking after you right now. You might not even realize this. Yeah, I see you feeling very trapped here with the Eight of Swords. This feels more like a mental, mentally trapped. Trying to be strong. I do get a sense that, yeah, you're going to be out of this, Virgo. The end of this year, going into the new year. And you also have new love coming in. A blessing, a new beginning happening here for you. You will get your strength back because of this person or this being who's looking after you. And believe me, there are things here that are not happening to you because of this person. So you might not even realize, you know, um, you're driving down the road. You realize that you forgot something at home. You turn around, you come back to get it. You leave, you go back down that road to your destination, and then there's this huge car pile up that happened minutes after you realized you forgot something at home and went back. These are things that, these are instances that you're being protected from by this person. And I feel like this person wants you to... Uh, they're trying to lead you in a direction of freedom. They may free themselves from watching over you once you have this uh, new love beginning in your life. Because you may feel lonely or feel like you're in a place of desolation. Or just feel like patterns keep repeating and you can't seem to break yourself out of them. Um, now I don't know if this person has recently passed away or at some point in your life prior to this, but they are showing up in December more strongly than ever. Okay. Yeah, this person is going to, um, how can I say this? Try to, uh, they're helping you to gain your strength back, to get strong. Um, the 10 of cups, with the ace of cups, from start to finish, they bring a blessing of love and happiness and joy, harmony, contentment, peace, and a happily ever after kind of energy here. So for those of you who are feeling there's a lack of love in your life, I feel like this the person who's watching over you is um, leading you in the direction to be present for... Uh, love to come in okay they may even bring someone or be influencing someone to come in it could even be a leo for some of you healing i'm hearing healing okay seven of pentacles six of wands three of pentacles okay there is a connection also, this person, this guardian, this angel is connected to some uh, a school or teaching or learning, um, business, money, apprenticeship, savings and investments. So there is a connection. Um, if you are someone who is trying to attain some kind of certificate or an award of some sort uh, related to money or school. I feel like um, they're saying that you're going to receive this for all of your studying and your learning, um, what you put into practice. You also have, yeah, you've got the high priestess and you have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, so wow, Virgo. This high priestess energy gives me really strong vibes that you, if you are thinking about what to do with your career or ways to make money, um, you're, you'll be afforded an opportunity and a gift 
um, to do something along the lines of um, deep e esoteric work, um, things that are hidden, things that are behind the veil um, that aren't often seen. Um, they're saying your intuitive gifts will bring you opportunities. Okay. And um, yeah, I just feel like this, this guardian angel, this person is, has been and will continue to be, and it'll be more evident um, to protect in protection, protecting, protecting you. And, and I also heard that um, you can ask this, this guardian angel, you can ask for the name and wait, it will be revealed to you. They are ready to tell you who they are or to give you some type of inclination of who they are exactly. I do see someone here with dark hair. Could have been uh, naturally dark or um, maybe in their lifetime changed their hair color. But I see a, a very dark hair. And I'm also, they're giving me the word spring. Something to do with, with the season, spring. Um... Uh, they're giving me the color green as well. And and I'm also picking up a lot of stuffed animals. Uh, I'm, I'm picking up like um, uh, stuffed animals like teddy bears and bunny rabbits and things like that. Uh, those types of uh, stuffed animals. I see. Okay. There's healing of a conflict as well between two people. So perhaps you and another person. Um, there's There was a lot of defensive energy challenges and conflict, either with you and this, this person who has passed on, or um, just in your life with someone else in particular. And I feel like there's um, a coming together, an acceptance, a meeting of the minds, an agreement. There's a start of something new happening here in love as well oh gosh you have the knight of pen of knight of cups i'm sorry there's a there's a charity and giving there's also a proposal um an offer of love and they're giving me strong green energy again that color and some purple there's a healing so yeah there's love coming in for sure and and i do feel like um it's coming in the new year there's a new a blessing. Some of you will actually be, and I've said this in my um, year 2024 reading that is on my channel there. You can go back and check that out as I go month by month. But I, I did feel like um, there will be no more looking for love or waiting. It will be happening in 2024 for sure. And a lot of it has to do with this, excuse me, this guardian angel energy, someone who is watching out for you. Definitely. So, um, yeah, that's amazing. Um, what a beautiful message that you have someone looking out for you. So beautiful. Okay, let's see what else you have here. Okay, you've got a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this person is going to be significant in your life in December, the rest of December, going in through January. Let's see what else does Virgo need to know. About this fire sign okay looks like a Sagittarius perhaps um, but there is harmony and peace that's attached to this fire sign let's take a look oh look at that <laughs> what a difference Fi uh, seven of wands so there's wow protection as well okay and the three there's an energy okay so this fire sign I'm hearing, um, has their dukes up for sure. Um, the, I feel like this fire sign is choosing to remain neutral. Okay, so there's neutrality here, but they are pushing back um, about learning something about you. I'm hearing. Um, let me see why. What is going on? They're remaining neutral. Um, they're pushing back on some kind of a commitment. Let's see. Why is this? Hmm. Okay. So it looks like this fire sign is engaging with others or they are 
dating um, as well. Yes, I feel like this fire sign is... They're either dating someone in particular or there's some kind of an attachment with another person. And I feel like they are... Um, this feels a little bit like indulgence and maybe some partying or some good times either with one particular person or just kind of spreading themselves thin you know my three of cups is always for me like this apprenticeship card where it's like yeah we're just gonna go out for a couple hours and i'm, I'm just gonna go out for a couple hours and drink up that kind of thing it's just an example they could be doing that but it's an example um they're being a bit defensive about that they're trying to it looks like maintain some balance when it comes to that uh they might be telling you in december no everything's fine um you know i'm i'm just trying to have a good time i'm not looking for anything serious uh if there's any investment being made at all i'm just kind of it's light um, yeah, it's light, like it's not a full-on kind of committed thing. And why? Uh, let's see what's going on with this person. They may have, um, so we do have threes here. So this person may be um, trying to maintain a relationship with one person and being involved with you in some way. And they're not really committed to either, uh, is what I feel like. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Ten of Cups. What else here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, hmm. You know, they're in a committed, relate. they're in some kind of committed relationship, this fire sign. However, um, they're, <laughs> I feel like they're not loyal. I feel like they're, they're, there's a lack of loyalty here yeah okay ace of wands this person is driven by their passions their physical passions um they also might be gambling um to they're committed to that that's for sure their passion is for money they've got a money passion um and you know that's it's not necessarily bad but you know putting money over your your intimate personal relationships well pretty much <laughs> you know, leave you uh, uh, isolated or alone. But there is this strong passion for um, either gambling or making money or trying to hit it big. Okay, so yeah, this is a very, it's a very strange way this is playing out because I do feel like this, on the one hand, this person is um, being very committed to an ideal or a, a, a relationship that they might currently be in whether that's with you or another person, but there is some side stuff going on here with this person. Um, in other words, they could have a mistress or um, another person, uh, or, or how should I say this, a third party. It may not necessarily be another person. It could be their extreme passion for money or gambling or risk-taking, you know, or spinning the roulette wheel, okay? Um, so if you're in a relationship with this person, you might feel like you're in a third party because they prioritize this money situation or these, these, this wheel of fortune energy prioritizing this. Um, and you know, it's interesting because you see the mouse there on the wheel and it's like a hermit uh, or a mouse hermit. Why did I say that? It's like a mouse on a wheel. It just, it just goes nowhere, just around and around and around. This person is spinning their wheels and not making any progress. And that's why they're so addicted to it because they're trying to have it become progressive and it's not it is in movement but it's not giving them any there's no direction it's just around and around and around you know yeah they're active <laughs> like a mouse in a wheel you know but there's they're, they're not a hamster right a hamster in the wheel they're not going they're not going anywhere they're just spinning their wheels here with this uh situation um either they're they're gambling or or they're just out there trying to get some energy off of them 
and be in a committed relationship but playing around on the side is what I feel like trying to burn some energy I keep getting this king of swords here so air sign sure Libra Gemini Aquarius Sun Moon or rising um, could be Venus as well in their chart but um, yeah the king of swords is very clear and pretty much knows what they want they're they're very wise and intellectual um oh yeah but they've got some kind of like they're really in, intrigued by the magic <laughs> they're intrigued by the magic and this kind of derails them a little bit okay this fire sign um they intellectually know that magic tricks are for kids but yet they're mesmerized by it okay this gives me uh, also they're saying if this wheel was actually spinning this is like their eyes when it comes to the magic and the glitz of things um they get extremely um mesmerized yes by the magic show and the tricks and the things that they see even though their logic is like no this isn't right or this isn't real and i can't fall for this no they get trapped there's a, a sense of entrapment by the by this map they might be under some kind of spell or um they've been in, entrapped by they're entrapped by some kind of spell is what i see okay so there it's interesting because for you virgo i feel like you are or will be aware of this you can see right through um what they might be trying to tell you or reason um and it might even you might even be the one who is the the magic spell for them and i feel like for some of you there, there might be a virgo here that's like you know what um i'm not your i'm not your magic spell <laughs> i'm a real person i don't know where that's coming from i'm not your magic spell i'm a real person now judgment is here so this person i feel like is kind of torn and will be torn between the reality of things having that clarity and that wake-up call they're in a battle between that and the magical fantasies that come with um uh, these visions of grandeur that come with either the money or the passion or the opposites that are the the dating life or the um, kind of third party stuff you know um their head knows and their head tells them no I, i'm committed or i can't go out of uh, out of line like that but they're very easily susceptible yes they're they're very easy easily susceptible to the magic and they get caught up in this spell some kind of spell okay and even if it's with you virgo they may be trying to reason in their head you know uh no i, I have to stay uh stable i have to stay balanced um keep my equilibrium in check i can't be thrown off sideways but then you might be that magic spell for them where they just completely get lost and then they reach out to you they want some kind of if you're not in contact with them they want some kind of reconciliation with you because that magic their life they're kind of bored <laughs> it's just really the message that i'm getting this person feels kind of bored in there every day and they seek after the adventure you might be the adventure or it's something else is an adventure for them that they chase after is this fire sign leo sagittarius or aries okay so yeah here comes some communication from this person sweet nothings uh love messages an apology for i'm hearing cutting you off um or prioritizing something or someone else over you look at that ten of pentacles my gosh you may hear from this person around december 25th or 24th um it may not be an apology it could just be you know hey um a love message comes in and they want to tell you that you know they're done with that lifestyle and they're they're stable and you know they they something about the holidays or about christmas um 
Um, there's seagulls. I'm seeing seagulls, seagulls, you know, on the beach, on the coast, um, by a bay, on an island. There's seagulls all around. Okay. Which are kind of like the rats. <laughs> They're kind of like, sea what do they call them? Like rats? They're, or is that pigeons? I'm not sure. It's seagulls or pigeons, but it feels mostly like seagulls because they don't, really don't look the same. Seagulls are much bigger. They may have a connection to seagulls. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so now you've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces showing up here. Oh, and the King of Wands. Oh my goodness, you have someone else playing here. The King of Cups and the King of Wands. King of Wands is looking directly at the King of Cups. But the King of Cups isn't paying really. King of Cups is kind of spacey. Just kind of looking off to the side or whatever. Um, very stoic. And the, and the King of Wands fire sign is very intent. There's something going on here between um, two masculines or two feminines. Um, yeah, that you might be in the middle of. Or maybe you don't even know. But there is a connection here with these two. Whew nine of cups hmm well i can tell you one thing um if you know who both of these people are they're they both want your wish come true for them for each one of them okay uh but they're also and i have to say this there is um there is a same sex thing happening here also okay there's also I don't, it's not a bad thing. It's it's in the case of um, if there's infidelity, there is a that the bad news is infidelity, um, the bad news, and, and and if it's a surprise that the person that you're connected with is straight, um, I'm seeing that they're not. Okay, here, and there's indulgence in a same sex kind of situation. Now, if you're in a same sex uh, connection with someone, it's it's a bit of infidelity that's happening here. Okay. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Ooh, there's a little bit of anxiety and stress attached to this. Okay. And I feel like, Virgo, the message is to pay attention to your intuition and the messages that you're getting, the downloads you're receiving in regard to that particular situation. You um, are on the ball what you're intuiting what you're feeling what you're thinking and i think of anything i'm just clarifying it for you but if you had a sense of something like this is happening uh trust it trust the process trust your gut trust your intuition all right virgo you're starting off with commitment things are getting serious all right let's see what's getting serious here oops hold on a sec All right, things are getting serious. You've got commitment coming in, Virgo. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, masculine or feminine energy. Um, I'm seeing someone here is... There's a bit of competition for you i'm seeing some competition for you there's someone here that's very competitive okay um once they get to be in their bonnet about something some kind of an idea uh that's it they just stay focused on that that's it that's all they can see um so i feel like someone here is coming in um either to compete for your attention. They wanna know how you feel. Um, there's a bit of a struggle here. This person doesn't know how you feel deep inside because I do feel like they view you as keeping a lid on your feelings or your emotions, okay? Let's see here. All right, look at that. So three of pentacles here. I feel like this person is trying to learn about you right now. Now that means they could be spying 
Um, but I feel like it's more like they're trying to understand and it's really difficult for them. I feel like you keep a lid on things. Or they they think that you do. They, they're under the impression that you have put a lid on your emotions. So if you're on social media, you're not sharing how you feel um, to the public, you're being very private. And they're either you've always been that way and they know that and they want to break through or you've become that way and it's a bit unnerving <laughs> for this person um i also feel like this person is the same way they don't reveal how they feel but queen of swords here the libra gemini aquarius i feel like they want to talk to you and they want to get at the heart of the matter <laughs> They want to take their sword and pry open that lid that you have to try to talk to you or to try to gather some information from you. Um, I feel like this person is like very committed to you, you know, already. And now they want to, you know, I, I mean, I know some of you are like, really, that doesn't make any sense because you're not, if you know who it is, you're not worth the person. There's nothing, they are very committed to you still they might be with other another person or other people but they have their eyes on you you are you they've got you on some type of a pedestal or they they esteem you they hold you in high esteem um let me see okay yeah they want to see oh gosh this person wants they want to take that pentacle right here the one that you're blocking your heart and the one that you have over your head okay and they want to pull each one away and see what's behind that pentacle which would be your heart and which would be what's on your mind and even if you're on their mind all right yeah that that's kind of like oh my gosh they're seeking some truth here in regards to you um also oh gosh a nine of cups you are like it for them you are the person that they want to be with like they feel it but they don't know what you want or they don't know if you still want them okay or it, i don't know what happened it feels like something like for them to not know something must happen maybe they weren't paying attention before and it became too late and now you're not you're keeping a lid on it and now they want to know and they're curious and they are seeking some truth they are seeking answers yeah, this person feels extremely like mentally trapped um it's affecting them they're almost on the verge of a mental breakdown um i don't know if you left them out in the cold but they definitely feel like abandoned or that they are not um welcome to cross the threshold of your door <laughs> or the threshold of your your heart uh, this person does feel kind of left out in the cold I, I, there's a bit of dependence here um so uh they don't have you to lead them through the lead them through the dark they feel and they're by themselves and there's this what am i going to do without virgo thing happening here um hmm even the even the queen of swords can represent mercury energy so it can represent virgo you might have been someone that was very clear and direct with them in the past and now you're not now you've got a lid on it and it's like none of your business it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship it could also be uh, any kind of relationship that where there was a commitment or an understanding of commitment between two people um but what i feel like this person wants to know why you're not talking or why you're not saying anything or why you're not saying anything to them what happened okay that's their uh energy here like what happened why am i like it's and in fact they're more committed now and want now to get things get serious hmm yeah interesting virgo very interesting here's judgment okay got scorpio energy there oh my gosh i'm okay so they're just saying this person wants you to open up, tell all, so that they can relax. <laughs> they want you to ease their anxieties by communicating with them, talking to them. But they also 
want some type of reconciliation with you. So you and, and they could be, um, to could recover this relationship, um, to have peace, uh, to have healing. I'm also picking up meditation, some strong meditation or prayer, same kind of thing, um, similar sort of, but there is, this person is praying for reconciliation with you that you that you guys will be able to communicate again or that you'll be able to talk and and that 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 you will talk to them um okay let me see here what else is coming forward with this oh my goodness five of cups knight of swords two of pentacles Oh, they're coming in uh, definitely taking charge of their grief. A lot of a lot of what's going on with this person stems from grief. Okay, and a double two here. Somebody's birthday could be on the twenty second. Uh, hold on a second. Um, I'm picking up the letter H. Um, there's um, a little, there's, a, yeah, definitely some confusion. <laughs> there's a decision. There's weighing some options happening here. Uh, this person. I, okay, so they're just saying, this person is saying to themselves, if I'm too direct and then I just go forward towards Virgo, I might scare them away. But if I'm indirect um, or I don't talk, um, then th then they're gone. So this person is trying to pick the lesser of two evils here as far as communicating with you or talking to you or trying to get answers as to how you feel. They don't know what is the right approach. They're trying to figure out if should they think of a second or third option or should they should they just come towards you as fast as possible and completely direct This person, I'm hearing that they feel regret for causing you sadness um, or um, a feeling of loss or, or for abandoning you. Not sure what exactly that relates to. It just came out of the blue. Let me see what else here. All right, there's you. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, okay. Virgo, I feel like your energy here with this situation is it's all or nothing for you. There's no gray area for you here. It's it's all or nothing. You want it all or you don't want it at all. Um, your energy is, if I can't have you, then I don't want you. That's kind of the thing here. If I can't have happily ever after, complete joy, contentment, the Ten of Cups, then it's then there's nothing. I don't want crumbs. I, I don't want to have half joy, half contentment, half happily ever after. It's all or nothing. And so it seems like you have a very healthy boundary um, for yourself. That, in other words, you're not settling because the Nine of Pentacles Virgo is all about building and creating and being independent and solo and financially stable and, and luxuries even to some extent. So um, having the best of it all, Virgo, you're kind of like, well, if you can't give it to me, I'll get it myself. You know, and but it's not an energy of being like um, uh, money hungry or anything like that. It's just about having dignity and self-respect. And so for you, it's kind of like, okay, well, if, if it's not going to be like, I'm not going to go into a restaurant knowing what I want and then only getting something like a knockoff job. <laughs> You're not, it doesn't, it seems to me like you have a very healthy boundary as far as respecting yourself. So you have, I don't know if you have blocks up, um, but you are definitely not investing or putting your emotions out there. They're so um, precious that they're like it's kind of like for you to be putting your um spilling your emotions out to it's like throwing pearls at a at a, at a pig 
don't throw your pearls to the swine is an old saying you know um why would you throw your valuables in the mud with the pigs right now these are very protective energy over and your emotions to you and your heart and your feelings are very valuable so you're not sharing them um with just anybody you're you're protecting them because they have high value to you so in other words expressing your emotions and your feelings to someone who is not appreciating it and who doesn't have place high value on the fact that you virgo would even dare open up your heart to someone and share you know that's not a typical virgo trait virgos don't generally wear their hearts on their sleeves so if they open up to someone and share their life with someone the ins and outs and the gory bits and all of everything the good bad and the ugly um and that person on the receiving end does not appreciate that that's a huge stab in the heart to virgo because they can be very selective um, with the people that they choose to have in their lives and if people don't appreciate that um, the effort it takes for a Virgo to actually open up and share those deep feelings to have the door shut on them on their feelings or you know it's kind of like exposing yourself and then being rejected wholehearted wholeheartedly so Virgo for you it's all or nothing if I if I can't have it then I don't want it you know, so I kind of feel like that's your energy going through December, but you've got somebody here. Um, I feel like they want to know how you feel. And Virgo, your your energy is, if, if you want to know how I feel, you're going to have to open up and tell how, uh, what it is that you're feeling. You know what I mean? Because I don't know, Virgo, I kind of get a sense that somebody here wants to get serious with you. And I feel like they will, you know, um, but they're fearful to be rejected. They are. <laughs> so this is this is a difficult one for you, Virgo. This is difficult. This is difficult. All right, let's take a look and see what letters, numbers, charms, birth dates are showing up here. And also, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Okay. So you're starting with the letter H and the letter E. We also have February and uh, someone is 35 years of age. Okay, we have September 11th, September 4th. Um, okay, the letter A, someone was born in 1969. Okay, someone is born in 1982. We have a birthday the month of July, so Cancer. February could be uh, Pisces or Aquarius. Um, July could also be Leo. Okay, someone was born in 1980. Okay, we have the letter A again, AG. So someone might be an attorney. Uh, 1990 could be someone's birth or a significant year that might have happened someone's also from georgia uh let's see i'm also picking up iowa someone's in iowa okay the letter t and we have august 27th 1978 and we have the number 66. Okay. The letter H and uh, someone, the number 55. So birth date or age. And the letter R. And we have September 19th. All right, let's see what signs are showing up here for you. Capricorn and Aquarius. Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, and Pisces. Chinese signs. Okay, Year of the Goat. This could be you and another person. We've got Year of the Rat, Year of the Snake. Year of the monkey, year of the pig, year of the dragon, year of the horse, and 
Fear of the Dog. All right, let's get your charms. Okay, you've got a key, okay? That's an interesting key. That key, somebody has a key that's also a bottle opener. Just saying. A key with a bottle opener on the other end. Or, yeah. Or a bottle opener that looks like a key. I'm just hearing. Okay, we also have, um, okay, someone's on Twitter. Or is it called X now? But it is a bird. I guess it doesn't, it's irrelevant now. And also... No, it's a bird. There's a, a bird on a tree. <laughs> okay, so they just said someone has a weather vane that has a bird on it. There's a weather vane with a bird. It's very specific. So if you don't have a bird, a weather vane with a bird on it, it's not, that's not your message there. Um, meaning that, that, that that's not for you. But the message could still be yours. There's also, um, you're going to get a really... All right, so either you're going to receive a gift with uh, for Christmas or maybe Hanukkah, whichever, um, with a very fancy bow on it. Now this, to me, they're they're giving me is not like just one of those stick-on bows that you get from the dollar store. This is very fancy, so it could be made of something very. You're either going to give that or receive it, so it could be made of some type of texture, cloth, or something. I don't. It's, they're not giving me a specific but it's 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 it stands out it's it's a gift and it's it's a bow that stands out it's there's something about it. it's very unique and very special okay um there's also a flamingo here so you may live in an area where there are flamingos or you may see flamingo lawn decorations somewhere you know that might be a norm for you um, but that's fine. It, it could be a norm or it could be something like, wow, that's so strange because you live in Colorado <laughs> up in a mountain. So whatever the case may be, um, there's an energy here of flamingos. So do keep that in mind as well. You could have gift wrap that has flamingos on it. They're just showing me like turquoise gift wrap with per pink flamingos on it. Paper wrapping, gift wrap. I've, I've never seen that before. Well, I just did. And there's also, okay, this is interesting. So you've got, um, it looks like a quarter moon. Now, you know, my grandfather used to say that, I want to show you, that when you look up in the sky, if the, if the moon, if the, if the half a moon, quarter moon is on its back, it's laying on its back like that, there's, that means that there's going to be, um, rain or horrific winds or storms coming. Uh, so if you see that so in the sky, uh, let the, or, now my grandfather used to say it, so I don't know if you've heard that saying before. You might resonate with that, but there's something here about looking at the moon to be able to tell when um, there's going to be a shift or a change in the environment. Um, now, you maybe you already do that, or you, maybe you noticed uh, that particular sh shape and placement of the moon. It's it's definitely a message for you as far as paying attention to your surroundings. Whenever you see a moon like that, whether it's a rain or weather event or anything, anything laying on the back, the moon laying on the back is kind of like um, resting of the emotions, right? So I do feel like there's a message connected there to you in regards to the moon being in that position and showing its light only a little. All right, take that into consideration. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.